Greetings. Okay, so how do I stop being triggered by other people? Okay, the first thing to do is to recognize that people aren't triggering you. You are triggering you. Yeah. Uh, by framing the issue of us getting angry, anxious, depressed by the external world, and in particular by the things that people do and say to us, we are putting the point of power in the wrong place. We're putting responsibility in the wrong place. Okay, so when I say that uh, so-and-so triggers me to get angry and yell, and so in a way we're, I'm saying that it's their fault that I get angry and I'm yelling because they're, they're, they're behaving badly, they're attacking me, they're doing this or that, they're calling me names, they're pissing me off. It's their fault that I behave badly. Uh, but, but it's not their fault. It's your fault. It's our fault when we behave badly. And to blame other people because they, quote, trigger us is to be in denial about the fact that nobody can trigger us without our own consent. Nobody can trigger, trigger us without us deciding to be triggered. This is where the point of power is important. We are in charge of our destiny. We are in charge of our emotions. We are in charge of our mind. It is our power to behave badly or not. It is our power to be triggered by other people or not. When you recognize that what we are calling triggering is simply our mind pre creating an opportunity for us to hold a mirror to ourselves and see who we are and what we stand for and what our judgments and attitudes are and how our ego behaves and how our ego views things. When we realize that we are creating these triggers on purpose, we're bringing people into our lives to trigger us to actually help us to grow, to learn, to expand in wisdom, to learn self-control and uh, as well as self-reliance and to take responsibility for who we are, what we are, how we behave. Okay, we will never get better on the planet. We will ne get, never get better spiritually. We will never rise up that spiritual ladder, which is actually the point of being on this pointless planet. It's to gain insight and wisdom and spiritual growth to move towards acceptance and love and forgiveness and compassion and generosity and service to others. So every person out there who, who, who's triggering us is actually a spiritual friend trying to help us wake up, truly wake up to the truth of how it's best for us to behave. Okay, so when somebody triggers us, just recognize, okay, what's going on? Why am I reacting to this? Okay, usually it's because our ego has been offended or or uh, we don't like, uh, you know, we want to be in control, or we, are, we feel we're misunderstood, uh, or we feel that life is, uh, isn't fair, but ultimately it's all in our mind, okay? We can choose to see things differently. We can choose to not judge everything uh, in a negative way. We can, we can choose to see uh, really the good and the love in everyone, even those who are triggering us, in a way, again, they are spiritual friends trying to enlighten us. And if we can understand that, uh, that these are opportunities to grow in love and compassion and forgiveness and acceptance and tolerance and patience, then, uh, right, everybody wins. Okay, there it is. Hope that made sense to you. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.